Every country of the globe has its ghosts and haunted sites, but nowhere is the spirit population greater than in Britain. It seems that in this land steeped in history and mystery, every city, every town, every historic building has a spirit. Come with me as we investigate with the help of the Spirit Seekers. Hello and welcome to Spirit Seekers. There have been many claims that old houses like this one are the homes to ghosts and phantoms. The fact that Hermiston Hall has had dozens of sightings and strange occurrences makes us wonder if they are in any way connected to the history and heritage of the building. In this programme we hope to unravel some of its many secrets to discover if it really is haunted. But before we take a look at the numerous paranormal reports concerning Hermiston Hall, we have to delve deep into Tyne's past to uncover facts that may help us piece together the history of the building. To help me in this task are my team of researchers, the Spirit Seekers. Together we hope to provide some of the answers to these questions. So while the girls go off and do their research, I'm going to go off and conduct some of my own. And what better place to do some local digging than in the hub of the local community? Cheers! So, whilst I am at the pub, Charlotte has decided to visit nearby Tick Hill Public Library, just two miles from Hermiston Hall. Hopefully she'll be able to uncover some interesting facts about the property or the people who live there. Meanwhile, down the road at Old Coach Church, Debbie is expecting to trawl through dusty manuscripts and leather-bound volumes in the church archives. Perhaps she'll find a link to the previous owners or the people that built the hall. Finally, Jane is paying a visit to nearby Roach Abbey, which is rumoured to be linked to Hermiston Hall, both by ancient Bridleway and by Underground Passage. <laughs> 